Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven aka Storm and we are back for some more of Elder Scrolls Online as the Mighty Battle Lizard we wish here in Orsinium, um, which is also known as Rothgar. Uh, last time we did this quest for the uh, Morkal Stronghold and completed the uh, quest for this region. Today we're going to go up here and um, I think we're going to do this quest. Hey Joe, welcome to the stream. How are you today? Almost did not survive that fall, but I did survive that fall, so that's good. Nice, that's a that's a long grind. I remember I grind for that and it took me three weeks I think to get everybody up because I grinded everybody up to I think I grinded everybody up to the level of his highest Pokemon and it took literally forever. Uh, doing Audino grinding too, no less. And I forgot which character I was playing as, so I forgot which button was which. Yeah, I've been playing as my vampire again, and every time I do that. First the storm. Then we crashed upon the ice. Those terrible little monsters attacked us. I just wish my wife wasn't still out there. I don't mind admitting that I'm lost without her. I met someone from your fleet who said you needed help. Help? Of course we need help. My wife is Lady Sovel, ambassador to the High King. She was on her way to Orsinium to negotiate an important trade agreement. The ships went off course, crashed in the storm. My wife disappeared in the confusion. You're a long way from Orsinium. You want to discuss geography now? My wife is missing. We need to find Lady Sovel. She was helping people off one of the wrecks, the other survivors. Captain Henriza won't risk any more sailors, but perhaps you could search the ice for me. I'll search for survivors on the ice. High King Emmerich relies upon my dear Sovel. If she were here, she'd know what to do. That's fair. How'd you get so many rare candies? Tell me about uh, Lady Solva and her mission. My Lady Solva. With help, I'll tell you whatever you'd like to know. High King Emmerich sent her to negotiate a lucrative trade agreement for Sydney. It's probably too late for that now. What else would you like to know? Uh, tell me more about the storm. It was powerful. Practically a blizzard. I think it blew us off course, but uh, who am I to judge such things? I'm not a sailor and terrible with directions. Sova says I'd get lost on my own estate if not for all the servants. You think it's too late to come to complete Lady Solva's mission? Uh, I'm not sure how these negotiations work. It's really more of Sovel's area of expertise. Without her, I, I don't know who can deal with Orsinium. We did have an orc with us, Scordo. Sovel thought well of him, but you know orcs can be. Oh great, Scordo's here! Our dear friend Scordo the Knife. When was when was the last time you saw your wife? Last time I saw my wife. Right after we hit the ice. The storm was raging and everything was loud and confusing. Sovel sent me ashore with the first group of survivors. She stayed behind me to help me. It's like she won't miss us. Please find her. I will do my best, sir. Captain. I saw you talking to that milksop, Ethian. He's nothing like his father, nothing at all. But I don't have time for his belly aching. I need to make sure we don't lose any more people to the cold and the ice. You're the captain of the fleet? I am. Although I'm not sure that means much now that my vessels are smashed upon the ice. Is there something you want, or are you just here to remind me of my failures? How did your ships end up so far off course? Off course? What do you know of navigation and seamanship? I'm a lizard! Port as fast and as safely as possible. I've sailed this coastal sea lane before. Not that it's any of your business. If not for the storm, we'd be in Orsinium by now. Why haven't you sent your crowd to search for Lady Solva or other survivors? We rescued Ethian. What more do you want? Haven't I lost enough sailors already? The ambassador's gone. 
probably drowned or crushed on the ice. I have a duty to the survivors here. Besides, we never should have come to this land in the first place. When was the last time you saw Lady Silva? On the quarterdeck during the storm. She was helping one of those green-skinned savages she loved so well. Who can say though? I was trying to avoid an iceberg at the time. Damn, she is really mean. Would not be surprised if she's not. Yos, there's a, another quest here. Okay. Well, we know what we do when we see other quests. We take them. If I were a strong woman, did I hear correctly? Would you be visiting the wrecked ships? If so, perhaps I could impose upon you for a small favor. How can I help you? I apologize for even asking. But I have no qualms admitting that I am no match for even one ranger, let alone a dozen of the foul creatures. If, during your travels, you happen upon a gold pendant, What's so special about this pendant? In light of all the lives lost, it may seem trivial, but I spent a month's wages on the pendant. It was to be a betrothal gift for my lovely Elena. Thoughts of her beauty helped me survive this terrible disaster. Find it, and I will be in your debt. <laughs> if I find your pendant, I'll return it to you. I appreciate your help. The pendant holds a great deal of sentimental value to me. Tell me more about this pendant I'm looking for. Oh, that's cool. So you can stack up rare candies that way. That's cool. It's a beautiful... Okay. Um, how did you lose the pendant? Truth be told, I did not so much lose the pendant as I was forced to leave it behind when we abandoned the wrecked ships. It should still be locked away in a coffer in my cabin. If that part of our ship hasn't sunk, it's the icy sea. How do I know that pendant belongs to you? You doubt my word. That pains me. Of course the pendant belongs. I am the one that asked you to find it. I am the one who described its perfect beauty. And I am the one who needs to recover it for his betrothed. What other proof do you need? Proof that you're not trying to steal it from somebody, honestly. That's actually really cool. I didn't know you could do that. That's a, that's a neat, I don't know if that's an exploit or that's actually like intended, but that's a really cool thing regardless. Whoops, the, I keep doing that. Onto the ice and snow, I'm a cold-blooded lizard and it's not good for lizards to be on the ice, but maybe I'm not cold-blooded because there are Argons that live in Skyrim. Actually, it's a good question. Are Argonians cold-blooded? I don't know. Well, I mean, that's the, a very loose version of an exploit. Um, usually an exploit is something that was intended to be done. Like, if they didn't intend for you to be able to save the game and soft reset, they would have not made it so you could do that. And they've actually taken great steps to preventing people from soft resetting on certain things nowadays. Um, so I would, if that's an exploit, it's a very light exploit. That's pretty good.
ships were you sailing on when, when we hit the ice? I wasn't on a ship. I'm here to help the ambassador and any other survivors. I'm the first mate of the flagship. It was fortunate. And I came down here to secure the hatchet when, when I saw the ambassador's bodyguard. And I hit my head. I don't remember anything after that. How's your fleet in the buff so far off course? Not that you mentioned it. I thought something was wrong. I never sailed with Captain Demarise before, and I never sailed this part of the sea, so I could have been mistaken. I tried to reach the captain, but that's when we ran into the blizzard. Do you think Captain Hersina made a mistake? I wouldn't want to disparage the captain. She works for Lord Ethian's father, and most of the ships belong to him. Because of the ambassador's mission, they wanted to make an impression. What about the ambassador's bodyguard? Scored overnight. He's an orc from North Point. The ambassador brought him along in case we ran into any trouble. He told me that he thought something was going on. He asked me to keep my eyes open. Any idea where I can find the ambassador? The ambassador? Uh, no idea. I did see Lady Sovell and the captain having a heated discussion right before the storm hit. Oh dear. I hope the ambassador wasn't injured when we there's a camp nearby. You sh you'll be safe there. I'll go check on Lord Ethian. He's a nervous sort. <sighs> Ooh, Sky Shard. You know, one thing I... The only thing I really regret about, um... The, I really one I really liked the fifth generation partially because it's a fresh start because you have to use the the only the brand new Pokemon you can't use any of the others until you beat the main game I really liked that because it gave a fresh start to the series and you got a chance to uh, play with those core Pokemon and like get to know those Pokemon there are several Pokemon that are in my top uh, they're in my at least you know top 20 Pokemon that are from that generation that I might not have given a chance if I had played Black and White 2 first instead of playing Black and White. So I really like the fact that, you know, you got the chance to play a game where you didn't have any of your old reliables. My only big grump with... Well, okay, I got two big grumps with uh, the fifth generation. The first one is the, the, level, the XP scaling. That thing sucked, especially when it came to training. The second problem I had was the distribution of types was very uneven. Like, there were so few, like, some types only had, like, two or three lines, if that. Like, there were four bug lines in the entirety of Unova. And I felt that wasn't right. Uh, there were two or three poison lines. It just, I felt like they could have done a better type distribution than they did. Anyone out there? Anyone that's not a ringer, that is? I can use a hand. It's me, Scordo. Let me in. Wherever you are, can you move some of these damn crates? I'm stuck. There's something glowing here. Is that the is that the note that's glowing? I mean, it's okay. Is, is that note what's glowing? Oh. Oh, Scordo. Oh. You, should we let Scordo out, Joe? Or do you think we should let him just sit there for a while? Yeah, let's let Scordo out. Damn furniture tore up my sword arm. I'm practically useless. Oh, of course, because you're always practically useless. Why would you leave him? Because he's practically useless. These stupid ships started collapsing around me. Figured I was gonna sink before I got out from under this mess. Are you alright? Sure. I enjoy being crushed under rubble as I slowly sink into icy water. What kind of question is that? And just who in oblivion are you? Very funny, Squirtle. It's good to see you too. What happened to you after Cold Harbor? Cold Harbor. I prefer to forget about that Disney place. Just a lot of good threats there. A lot. You remember Darien? He's a good man. 
He was a good man. Uh, let's talk about something less depressing. I think I already asked him that question, which is why it's great. I asked him that last time I saw him, so uh, we can catch up later. Lady Silva's husband sent me. Diddy, diddy. Last time I saw that spineless schemer, him and Chorus the mage were walking away. They left me under here to die. Who's Cor Chorus the Mage? He's one of Captain Henrise's lackeys, a shifty eyed mage who was always skulking around. Didn't like him. Look, help me out. I don't think I can swing a sword right now, but I need to make sure the ambassador is alright. Okay, let's try to find Lady Solval. See, I'm thinking this looks like there should be a treasure here to collect, but I think it's just this note so you don't miss it. Maybe that's what that is, but let me just double check and make sure there isn't a treasure I'm supposed to get here. Because that glowing mark usually signs there's some kind of collectible to pick up there. Where does this place? The Frigid Sea? The Frozen Fleet. Okay, nope, that's, they just put a glowing there so you didn't miss that little lore book, so. I guess a lot of people were missing that book and couldn't complete the quest without it. You know, you're never any use in a fight, Squirto. I don't know what you're talking about. All the times we've worked together and you've never once been useful in a fight. race did you find my dearest so well please tell me she's all right have you found my wife yet Please tell me that you know where Sovel is. We haven't found the ambassador yet. Where could she be? And why did she have to stay on the ship? She cares for everyone else, but refuses to safeguard herself. Scordo, you were supposed to protect her. Could the captain or one of the crew had had a hand in her disappearance? Impossible. The captain works for my father. She would never harm my wife. Wait. We saw the captain head toward the signal tower. That's where Sovel is. I have to go there too. Goodbye. Let me clear the path. Yep, yep, yep. Coward. All right, that's how you want to play this game, huh? Oh, I got a plunder skull. Help! I'm on top of the tower. Why did you go climb to the top of the tower, you idiot?
What are you doing up here? So that she's not here. Uh, and I think maybe that mage tried to kill me. Well, maybe he was trying to kill you. Tell me the truth. Are you responsible for the ambassador's disappearance? What? How dare you insinuate such a thing? I would never. I'm as at a loss as to where Sovel is as you are. My father promised we would go off course just long enough for Sovel to miss her meeting. She wasn't supposed to be harmed. What was supposed to happen? We were just... It was supposed to... The captain has worked for my father for years. Father, you just can't say no to him. He said that the captain would take care of everything. By the gods, what have I done? Sobel will never forgive me. You must have some idea where to, where we should look. I truly don't know. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. The terrible storm, all those sailors who died. My father said Captain Henriza would make sure that no one was harmed. You were only supposed to get into port late. Let's go downstairs. We'll look for Lady Silville together. Although, I'm quite tempted to push you off this fucking signal tower for being a little, an idiot. Was there as well. Where does Gordo go? Just down the path here. He found what looks to be an old smuggler's bolt hole in the rocks. Gordo sent me back so I could tell you all about it. He's waiting for you over there. Ethan and I will meet up with Gordo. I'll head back to camp. I need to check on the survivors. What's so special about that cave? Nothing really, just a gut feeling. I learned a long time ago not to ignore my gut in situations like this. Besides, I saw one of Henrizen's lackeys sneak in there trying to be all stealthy. I'm sure that's where Lady Sobel is. Do you think Captain Her Henrisa could be reasoned with? Why would you want to reason with someone like that? Would you reason with an angry Wamasu when it's trying to eat your face? No. I guess we better I better go and see. I know you're in there, Henriza. Where's my wife? Run back to your father, you pathetic little man. Free my wife at once, you villain. I'm going to do your father a favor. She she stabbed me. I feel a bit faint. I did not see that coming. Go after Henriza. I'll see what I can do for Lord. Yep, she's a dead woman. Maybe I High King Emric will hear of this, you you blackguard. You blackguard. I knew you were nothing but a filthy orc lover. I should have gutted you the moment you entered our camp. In the name of High King Emric, you will die. Hello, your ambassadorness. If you could untie me, I would greatly appreciate it. And would you know if my husband is safe? He's Lord Ethian, and I made sure he got off the wrecked ship with a few of the crew and passengers. I'm sorry, Captain Her 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 Henrisa stabbed him while uh, he was trying to rescue you. Ethan? My husband? Try to stand up to Captain Henrisa. I, I never expected him to do such a thing. Ugh. Why didn't he stay with the rest of the crew? He was never good in a crisis. Tell me, how bad was he injured? I'm not sure Skorda was with him. This is all Ethian's father's fault. What a vile man his father is. Ethian never could say no to him. 
and Ryza was eager to tell me all about it after she captured me. If Ethan dies because of this, I'll find a way to make his father pay. I'll untie you. Let's go. Thank you. I should go see my husband. Now he's gone. He wasn't a brave man, but he tried to stand up against that vile head riser. Your husband wanted to make sure you were safe. He did, didn't he? Thank you. Now, I have a job to do. I'll mourn Ethian after I have fulfilled my obligation to High King Emmerich. I'll send Scordo ahead to Orsinium to let them know we are on our way. Perhaps we'll see you there. The orcs will negotiate with me. There's still time to salvage my mission and make sure Ethian's father lives to regret what he set in motion. But thank you. Without your timely assistance, more innocents would have been lost. Is there anything else I can do? No, my friend. You've done more than enough. The rest is up to Scordo and me. I knew Baron Atir was a despicable man, but to force his son into this treasonous scheme Ethan was very worried about you. He obviously loved you. Is it? Ours was an arranged marriage. I suspect that when his father learned of my true political feelings, he was extremely disappointed. Still, Ethan had a good heart, and we got along well. At least we did when his father wasn't interfering. You seem genuinely surprised that Hermesa wanted to harm you. Ethan's father hoped to deal with two problems at the same time. My marriage to his son, Emmerich's treaty with the orcs, but his scheme led to his own son's death, and he'll answer for that. I plan to tell High King Emmerich everything. Well, I hope he, I, I hope he burn, or I hope he loses his head I for this. I need to focus first on Emmerich's treaty before I can allow myself the luxury of regret. Scordo, I will need you to get to Orsinium as soon as possible. All right, let's go return this pendant. Uh, I'm not seeing the quest marker. Yes, he said it was a gift for his betrothed. Oh, did he now? Pro tip. Fletch has a fiance, then I'm the queen of Daggerfall. That pendant is mine. It even has my initial engraved on the back. It was a gift from my parents. It turns up missing shortly before the storm. Hey, how did Yos know about the pendant then? Yos and I became friendly during the voyage, much to my after one particular encounter, I noticed that my pendant was gone. Yao swore he hadn't seen it, but then I heard him talking to you about it. I should get Yao's side of the story. Fine, talk to the liar. But be careful, his words fall like nectar from a tree. I thought he liked me. He only had eyes for the gold around my neck. Why should I get the pendant to you? Because it belongs to me. Why would he be carrying around a gift for his betrothed on a voyage such as this? It makes no sense. He tells a good story. I'll give him that. But in the end, it smells like a guar stall. I'm sure you realize that. Why would Yells claim that the pendant belongs to him? Because he's a thief trying to make a quick profit. That pendant is mine. It reminds me of my parents and my home. I admit that I was attracted to Yells. I got too involved for my own good. But he just wanted to get his hands on my pendant. All right, let's talk to Yels. Tell me, my good friend, were you successful? Did you find my pendant among the wreckage? I recovered a gold pendant. You did? That's wonderful. My Eleni is going to be so happy. Now, give me the pendant, please. I need to keep it safe until 
until I return to Sentinel. Someone else claims the pen it belongs to her. Really? Why, that's ridiculous. Who would... Oh, you spoke to Azita, didn't you? Listen, she's just upset. We had a few intimate moments during the voyage, but she wanted more than I could give her. This is just her way of punishing me. All right, so we have a choice. We give the pendant to her who claims it was a gift from her parents with her initial on the back. We give it to him who claims it was a gift for his betrothed whom he was cheating on with her during the voyage. Because they both admit that they were involved during the voyage. So, who do you think is lying and who do you think is telling the truth? Should we give it to the guy or give it to the girl? Because, honestly, even if it is a gift for his patrolled, he's already betrayed his patrolled. Hmm. Because of the cheating, give it to the girl. Okay. Fine, talk to the liar. But be careful. His words, because it belongs to me. Why Sorry, I'm just going to skip this again. We already did this, so. Profit. That pendant is mine. I think the pendant belongs to you. Now, what do you say? I have nothing to say to you, or to that conniving witch, Azita, either. Believe me, I won't dally with another sea trollop ever again, no matter how beautiful she looks or how amazing she smells. Just Eleni from now on. Yeah, no, you were... Dude, you're lucky that your Elaine doesn't stab you. <laughs> Most women do not like being cheated on. If Elaine even exists in the first place. I actually went to Sentinel and looked, and there is not a character called Elaine in Sentinel. So if she exists, she's not someone who exists within the city itself. I've actually haven't looked up the quest to see... Um, I haven't actually looked up the quest to see if uh, anyone's actually done further research to see if either one of those individuals is actually the one telling the truth. It's one of those ones that's like, well, either one of them could be telling the truth or either one of them could be lying. So you kind of have to use your best judgment to decide. But I did the same thing my first time through as well. I also gave it to the girl because I felt like even if it was the guys, he had already stabbed his fiance in the back by sleeping with her in the first place. So, I mean... <laughs> Also, that guy was completely crazy. That girl was very pretty. I'm trying to find my way up there where that cave is. Hmm. Here we go. There's supposed to be a quest here. I'm not seeing the quest marker though. Is it inside the cave? Let me go in and see if the cave if the quest marker is in there. I know there's a quest that brings me here. I think this is where we do the quest um, for the Khajiit. I don't remember. Oh yeah, this is definitely the cave where we do the the Khajiit, but I don't know if he's it doesn't look like he's here, because surely the quest should be right in the entrance if he was. 
Um, I'm gonna look that up and see if I can find where the beginning of the quest is. With that bone rock cave. Okay, so the quests give her somewhere between here and the Icy Shore Way Shrine, so I'm going to mark that. We're going to head up that way and see if I can't find the quest giver between here and there. Well, that wasn't a very big fall, but it still died. Well, he's supposed to be between here and there, but I'm not seeing him. Maybe that quest isn't available yet. Maybe there's a flag you have to complete a certain quest before you can do it. That does sometimes happen. So let's go ahead and continue our way south. There's another... Okay. So either one of them could be the, the liar. Honestly, I'm more inclined to believe the woman in that case because she has a fair point um, about, you know, about the pendant being, especially with the fact that it has an initial graved on it. Like, it's, it would be very easy for him to make up a woman named Alana or she'd be just one of his many lovers that he has in port and not even be his betrothed, so... Like, she was disowned by her parents. Okay, so that makes a difference. See, I didn't really, cause see, it doesn't prompt you to ask around. And that's one of the things, like, if you didn't think to do that, you wouldn't have that information available. That's a, that's a, there, I just saw the quest marker. And it disappeared again. What? There it is. There it is. Thank goodness. What happened to you? My hunting party got ambushed by weaker raiders of all things. They were organized and their leader was powerful. He used magicka. They dragged off two of our hunters, including my twin sister Zubasha. Did you use, do you need do you want some help? You do that? Maruk took two hunters and went after Zubasha and Theron. But we're all tired and not used to being out on our own. I'll find your hunters and get the Reeker Chief's uh, totem for you. Maruk's probably the strongest in our party. He 
took the uninjured hunters and went after the Reaker. You seem a little young to be leading a hunting party. Yeah, maybe. This was our first time out on our own, and things didn't go as planned. I'm responsible for what happened. The Urga's death was on my shoulders, and on the Reaker's. But I don't want to lose any more of my friends. What were you doing out here? It was my idea. I wanted to show we were ready to help our clan. Prove ourselves, you know? wanted to see if we could make a kill without the help of an older hunter. Well, most of us anyway. Jazen just tagged along to be with his brother. You felt like you needed to prove yourselves? With all the outsiders coming to Rothgar, we wanted to pull <coughs> forward. Show we can handle ourselves. Gather meat, furs, provide for the clan. We were expected to get ambushed by Reekers, though. Any idea why the Reekers attacked you? I know it sounds strange, but the Reekers behaved like a raiding party. I even saw their leader bark commands in some gibberish language. If I don't salvage this, make things right, I'll bring shame to my mother. She's the hunt wife of our clan. And if I collect the Reekers totem, what, will that help you? The chieftain won't give up the totem willingly. And bring most of our hunters home. It will prove we are totally incompetent. I'll answer for what happened, but I want to make it as bright as I can. Okay, we're gonna head in. Now that was a that's a tough moral quandary, Ajo. With that new information, would you still have uh, given her the pendant, or would you have given it to the guy? Oh no. My head. It hurts like a skinned orker. One of those reeker hit me with a damn rock. Orgroth sent me. She wants you and the others to return to camp. Orgotha. Always giving orders. Think she was the hunt wife and not her mother. I just need to clear my head. Gotta find Avre and Shasta. Don't want to add losing them to the list of today's embarrassments. Where are Urbreg and Zazim? They headed toward the cave up in the cliffs the last time I saw them. Right after that Reaker got the drop on me. Should have been back by now. Maybe you can find them? I'll make my way back to camp as soon as my ears stop ringing. Here's a better question. Uh, how did she know about the pendant if it was locked in a... Uh, if it was locked in a coffer? Because, and here's a good point. If he was courting her on the ship, why would he tell her about a gift for his fiance? Like, unless he was intentionally trying to hurt her by letting her know that, you know, he was already promised to somebody else. But it seems like not something you would do is tell your current lover about the gift for your fiance that you're going to give her as a betrothal item. That just seems like something you don't do. And look at the guy's a complete moron. Which he might very well be because he's, especially if he has a girl in every port, he might be dumb enough to tell his current uh, conquest about the gift for his fiance mind. But that kind of smells of, that kind of smells of suspicion right there. She did not say it was a patrolable item, but she knew that it was there. I'm, well, my thing is, is why did she know about it in the first place if it was locked in the coffer? Because he said he locked it in the coffer, right, and he got it on the ship, and it was in his room. So my question is, why would he even tell her about it? She should not even have known about the existence of the pendant if he put it in the coffer as soon as he got it, because when he got on the ship. I was fine until I stopped to rest. That's when I noticed that one of those damn Reekers bit me. You need to return to camp. Uh, Ogreth is worried about you. That makes two of us. But I'm more concerned about my little brother. He ran off to find our friends with only his stupid cap to help him. Look, if you could convince Jocelyn to get his arse out of there, I'd be grateful. Just watch out for the Reekers. Your brother has a cat? Yeah. I raised it from a kitten and he loves it all to pieces. Between you and me, my brother isn't an average boy. 
Just find Joss and the others before the Reeker do something awful to them, alright? You tracked the Reekers to this cave? Tracked? I guess so. They weren't really trying to hide their path. Unfortunately, they were waiting for us just outside the cave. Speaking of which, did you happen to run into a big orc named Maruk? One of the Reekers cracked a rock on his head. Maruk is fine. Um, she asked me to get everyone back to camp and then get the Reeker leader's totem. That orc Gotha, always thinking. She'll make a great hunt wife one of these days. I'm sure the Reeker leader is somewhere inside. Just find my brother and the others before you rile up the blue buggers. All this fighting is still kind of new to us. All right. Um, you may remember Zazim Joe. Uh, we met him in uh, Dragon Guard. You may not, um, but you'll you'll if you have any memories of him, they should be stirred up when we run into him in just a second. Because he is definitely not your average orc. Yeah, I liked how he had your... It's very clear that he's not an orc. Your Avric's brother? You met Avric, did you? You look nothing alike, but he's the best brother I've ever had. I was trying to find the other hunters when Weeks decided to go exploring without me. This stupid cat isn't afraid of anything. Hey, wait a moment. Who are you? Uh, Urga asked me to find you and the rest of the hunt of your hunting party. That's what I'm doing. But I lost track of Zubisha and Therik when Weeks got away from me. You find the hunters. I'll look for Winks. Sound good to you? You should return to your camp. You want me to abandon my companions and poor Winks? That's not how orcs do things. That's not the orc way. Besides, I may have been raised by orcs, but I'm a Khajiit. In case you haven't. Yeah, no, I noticed you were a Khajiit. That's what I've read. That's what I read. Uh, how did you end up living with an orc clan? <laughs> just fooling. Just wife found me wandering in the woods and took me in. She raised me and my brother like other orc cubs. Taught us to fight and hunt for great things. In all this time, no Khajiit has offered to take you to your homeland? Never met another Khajiit, but I'd like to one day. <clears throat> this one is pleased to meet you. I read they speak different. I practice when I can. I have a book about Khajiit. Culture. Fascinating stuff. But my heart on mother doesn't approve. Do you hear anything about your real family? Avrig and the orcs are my real family. But if you mean about where I came from, no. I had this moon medallion when they found me. My heart on mother says it brings me good luck. But not so much today. You don't miss what you never had, though, right? Winks. Yeah, Rosendar's much better at stealth than you are. You mind uh, providing some su suppressing fire there, Z Zazim? I guess not.
Silver pack contains a medallion on a long silver chain. Two moons are etched upon the metal coin. It looks like a Khajiit crafting. I should ask Zazam if he knows anything about this. <laughs> I found a medallion with two moons. I see that. Sounds like Khajiit jewelry. It's strange that you found it in an old orc ruin. It's just like mine. Exactly the same. And look how the bag was placed near these odd pillars. I think it's a puzzle. I love puzzles. You think this was left here for this was left for you to find? coffee. So, L Wolf. Ah, here we go. So the first one needs to be a hammer. Second one needs to be a wolf. Third one needs to be an owl. Hell, torch, wolf. Hmm. Maybe I have these positioned the wrong way. Still not correct. The fact that this door still won't open. Well, no, the door will open, but. So cold and so hungry. It's been many days, and the wound I've received from that bluish creature burns with a fever while the rest of me shivers. I must keep a clear head. Must. Hardly think straight for fever, but I'm sure this puzzle will lead to treasure. Must find it. There was a scrap of old note, some stupid orc tale. Something about the torch that brightened the night, the hammer that forged the sword, and the sword that killed the wolf. I wish my head would stop aching. Wolf, torch, owl, hammer. A hammer, torch, owl, wolf. Or hammer, torch, owl. Wolf, to wolf, wolf, torch, hammer, nails, wolf, ear, pie. I can't keep them straight, so hungry. What, what did I write? I passed out for a while. Ease the fever a bit. I am so cold. Only my, have my mage candles to warm me. Candles. I can use them to help me remember. There. So tired. This place so big. Um, just a few more moments. So very cold. Black Marsh home. Home going home. And he froze to death. Or she froze to death. So candles. So there's a candle in front of a wolf. Candle in front of a hammer. And did not manage to light the candle in front of the owl. So it's hammer. There's two hammers here, so the middle one is the is the hammer. The 
the wolf. Hammer. That didn't do it. So I must have the wolf and the owl out of place. <coughs> That's still not right. I'm an idiot. This is where they need to be set, right? do it? Nope. Hmm. I'm doing something wrong. There's two candles in front of the of the hammer and they're both lit. Not sure what I'm doing wrong. There he is. And it's a coffer. I'll need Zashara remains now, hiding, hoping, weeping. Azen believes that my little Az Elzar, Elzahar, Elzara will, could not have survived the cold or the creatures that roam these wretched hills. He said it was a mercy that our little one wandered off, that Elzahar would curl up in a drift of this killing snow and sleep peacefully until the cold drew out his last breath. But Azen was wrong. A mother's heart, it knows. This is for you, my little one. Little gifts of magic. Do you remember back home in Mist Minstrel? Uh, this one would conjure colors and swirls to make you giggle. Your soft paws pouncing on a toy that disappeared then reappeared. The nonsense rhymes of stories that one would whisper to you before, or this one would whisper before you slept. You will find me through these memories. My heart knows this. It's a mother's writing to her child. Let me see that. Seishura. My mother's name was Seishura. And my sire was Azim. The heart mother said that a hunting party found me wandering in a snowstorm. Too cold even to cry. To me that's 
they saved your life. That's very wishful thinking, but we can take a look. The armored soldier, tall and brave, sword in hand, he lies in the covered grave. Where is the hunter wife with axe and bow? The claws of a bear brought her low. Where is the knight with the golden blade, fighting the monster deep in the glade? Where is the king of the broken throne? No knight nor soldier protects his home. His table is empty, not even a bone. The king is sad and always alone. Uh, what do you think the riddle means? It's meant to be simple, isn't it? To entertain a child. Let's look around the room and see what's here. There are tombs, tables, altars, carvings, and other things in this room. Must be one of those. There's something here, that's for sure. You can you can barely see it, but there's like copper right there. Hmm. Well, that activated something. We Bandari, we traveled, but always returned to the warm sands, green lands instead of gray. The sounds of soft voices, laughter. A Zen returns to us as he always does, and laughs to see how uh, Elzar has grown. Big enough to travel, he says, tossing you up in the air so that you laugh and laugh. So we traveled and traded, and we res we are respected for our trading skills and our ability to range far and wide. We have traveled further and seen more of this strange world than many others. 
this one believes. The moons, they bless our travels. Everything was good and fine until we came to Rothgar. Cold, danger, loss, attacked by savage creatures. Usuri saw how saw old ruins and we ran for them, thinking to take shelter. As Usuri and Shura build a fire, this one looks for you. This one looks for days and days and my beautiful son. The wind and snow have removed all traces of you, but a mother knows. Malzahar, he is alive. The others may look upon this one with pity in their eyes, even a Zen who grieves. But this one knows she will whisper nonsense to you again, my son. We will play games and this one will hear your laughter again, a mother knows. Your mother believed you'd find your way back to her. It took a while. I guess I did. That was so long ago. I don't really remember her or my people. I'm not sure how I feel about all this. But I need to find things. Maybe my mother left something else for me. I'll keep my eyes open as I look around. I'll look for more puzzles. And my cat. She's around here somewhere. I just know it. Winx is such a disobedient kitty. There's a nice fire down here. I mean, I have to kill ogres to enjoy it. Why is my pulsar not working? Are you badly injured? I'll live. But you need to find Zubashar. The Reeker chieftain dragged her off. Something bad is going to happen to her. I just know it. I'll find her. You need to return to your camp. All right. I'll sneak out of here and make my way back to the camp. When you find the chieftain, make sure you hurt him a lot before you kill him. He won't let Zubashar go if there's a threat still in him. <coughs> oh, don't worry. He's going to die. Little moon like a smell set in a golden style. Little moon, a golden twin, adorned with such a broad white grin. Tall moon, proud moon, higher in the sky, it sets too soon. Three moons in the night, what an unusual sight. Place the moons per the rule beside the small tranquil pool. Tall moon, smiling moon, and the gilded twin. Set them right, and the game you will win. You know, I'm not too sure because I'm too busy dealing with the fact that there's an ogre breathing in my face. And as we all know, ogres are like onions. Tall vase, small vase. Little smiling face. Let me read that clue again. So, tall moon, smiling moon, and then the gilded twin. So, nothing happened. Try moving them around a bit. Thank you. 
What? I already placed the tall. Oh. I didn't actually have to pick the right um, position. That's. In the long silences, this one's heart is full of grief. Only hope, or the memory of hope, lets this one hang on to this, uh, hang on this long. I have fever dreams where I see my beautiful boy as a grown man, a Bandari trader teasing the gold out of someone's pockets in exchange for some trinket or bauble. One day, perhaps my, my Elzar will find these little games. Know that Zasara, your mother, even in sadness, smiles as she made them. In the dark and cold of these ruins, these little bits of magic shone light on happy memories. You are the son of two Bendarian tra clan traders. Travel, barter, it is, your, it is in your blood, my child. It is your heritage. May the two moons shine upon you and bring, your, bring you blessings. It sounds like your mother loved you very much. Yeah, but I don't think you're going to find your mother alive, friend. Disappear. I'm sorry, Zaheem. I didn't want to hurt this one chick. She left those silly notes and puzzles. But for me, she loved her son. She loved Anjasi. But I'm also Elzar. Sounds kind of funny to my Iliswa's ears. Now that you know the truth, will you abandon your orc clan? Good to know where you came from. Yes, it is, isn't it? Maybe I'll contact someone in Mistro. Ask about Seishura and Ozzy. Learn more about them. I'm going to stay here a while longer. Pay my respects, you know. Then I really have to go find my cat. Complete quest. Very Rothgar Trailblazer. Where did you run off to, you naughty little cat? Well, Look at me. You know, honestly, I thought Winx was going to be like a saber cat or something, but no, Winx is just a normal house cat.
I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, Link's led him to his. Right. Wings is such a good kitty. Ooh, it is so cold in my apartment right now. I got the heat turned on, but it's just now starting to heat up. So. Uh uh, no, you don't. Right back to where we belong. We threw a kitten. Now here we are. We didn't get a whole lot done today, but that was that, that quest was really long. So, Winx is already here. Thanks for rescuing my sister and the other hunters. But tell me, were you able to acquire the Leaker Chief's totem? Yes, here's the totem. Do you need to tell them anything? Of course. We lost a few fine young orcs today, and it was my fault. I secured permission to go out on our own. I led the hunting party. And I failed to spot the Leaker Lair. That's how they were able to get the drop on us. What will you do now? After I make sure we get back to the clan safely, maybe I'll go and see the new city they're building. I've heard it's quite grand. In spite of my mistakes, we got the Leaker's totem and saved most of the hunting party. Thanks to you. Alright, we've completed yet another quest. And that's where we're going to end off for today. We didn't get a whole lot done, just two different quest zones. But, you know, a little progress is a little progress. Uh, next time we will continue exploring uh, Orsinium, and the week after that we should be starting Markarth off, which is going to be a lot of fun. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to catch you next time. Thank you, and goodbye. Uh, uh.